All right, we get to revisit an old friend. The statement reads, two coils are wrapped around a cylindrical form in such a way that the same flux passes through every turn of both coils. In practice, this is achieved by, ins by inserting an iron core through the cylinder. Uh, this has the effect of concentrating the flux. The primary coil has N1 turns and the secondary coil has N2. If current I is in the primary is changing, show that the EMF induced in the secondary is given by uh, EMF2 divided by E1 is equal to N2 time or N2 divided by N1. Again, this ratio has kind of been seen before, where E1 is the back EMF of the primary. All right, so let's go ahead and draw it out. We see that we have some core here, uh, coil, primary turns in one, secondary in two, with some core in between. All right, so this one's actually pretty easy. Let phi be the flux of B through a single loop of either coil, so that phi one is equal to N1 times phi, and phi two is equal to N2 times phi. Then what we see is that the EMF is equal to E1 is equal to D phi one over DT, is equal to minus N1 D phi DT, um, and then E2 is equal to negative D phi 2 over DT, which is equal to negative N2 D phi DT. Now you see that both of them have a D phi DT term, so go ahead and take their ratio, uh, and we'll see that they cancel out nice. What we see here is that E2 over E1 is equal to the negative N2 D phi DT, and then uh, negative N1 uh, D phi DT, so they cancel along with the negative signs, and they're equal to N2 over N1. Boom. So this tells us very conveniently what the flux or the EMF in one is based on simply the number of curl the number of turns. That's awesome.